Make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. And to never miss another lecture from Miracle, hit the bell icon to get regular updates on English literature. Hello and welcome to Miracle English Language and Literature Institute. I'm Professor Abha Sharma and as you all know that we are doing video series on UGC, CBSC, NET, GRF model test papers. The NET and JRF exam takers, please do watch and try to solve these sample questions and listen to the discussion carefully to have a better understanding. This practice will equip you with better knowledge for real-time coaching and to shape your career before it is too late. Please join Miracle at your earliest for sure success. Model test paper 3. The name of the author will be given and some hints about the work. So you have to guess the name of the novel. Question number 1. The novel is best known for its notion that a voluntary order of nobility known as the samurai could effectively rule a kinetic and not static world state so as to solve the problem of combining progress with political stability, it is presented as a tale told by a sketchily described character known only as the owner of the voice. All the men and women that you know and I exist in duplicate. Name the work of H.G. Wells. The Invisible Man, Tales of Space and Time, A Modern Utopia, the time machine. Question number two. It is a three act English play by George Bernard Shaw, written and premiered in 1905 and first published in 1907. The story concerns an idealistic young woman who's engaged in helping the poor in the Salvation Army in London. Man and Superman, Major Barbara, Widower's Houses, Mrs. Warren's Profession. Question number three. The plot centers on a young girl, daughter of a wealthy but miserly and dictatorial father, living in the Potteries area of Stratfordshire, England. Her activities are strictly controlled by the Methodist Church. The novel tells the struggle for freedom and independence against her father's restraints and her inner, inward battle between wanting to please her father and wanting to help Willie Price, whose father Titus Price commits suicide after falling into bankruptcy and debt. During the novel, she is courted by the town's most eligible bachelor, Henry Minos, and agrees to be his wife, much to her younger sister's pleasure, named Arnold Bennett's work. The Old Wife's Tale and of the five town, the gates of wrath, Hilda Lesways. Question number four. John Galsworthy's first play, in which the theft of a prostitute's purse by a rich young man of good family is placed beside the theft of a silver cigarette case from the rich man's father's house by a poor devil with very different repercussions, became a success and he followed it up with The Man of Property, the first book of Forsyth's trilogy. Strife, The Skin Game, The Forsyth Saga, The Silver Box. Question number fifth. A novel by E.M. Foster about a Cambridge University philosopher student and aspiring fiction writer Ricky Elliott, who's handicapped, his parents' separation and deaths leave him traumatized and orphaned at the age of 15. At Cambridge, Ricky contemplates love, reality, and human nature with friends. He idolizes and then marries Agnes Pembroke, but the marriage alienates him from his friends, and the teaching job he soon takes stunts his writing career. He learns he has an illegitimate half-brother, 
Stephen Vonham. Agnes plots to disinherit Stephen so his aunt's money will come to the Elliots instead. Ricky warms towards his brother, leaving Agnes with his to repair his lost friendship with Stewart, Ansel and begin writing again. Name the novel. The Longest Journey, Howard's End, A Room with a View, Where Angels Fear to Tread. Question number six. One day, a summer flood washes a young mongoose away from his family. He is found and revived by a British family living in India. The family adopts the orphaned mongoose, or more accurately, he decides to stick around. This is a short story by your dad Kipling. Name this short story. V. Willewinky, A Man Who Would Be King, Ricky Tiki Tavi, Gangadeen. Question number seven. G.K. Testerton's 1908 masterpiece is a metaphysical thriller and a detective story filled with poetry and politics. Gabriel Syme is a poet and a police detective. Lucian Gregory is a poet and a bomb-throwing anarchist. Syme infiltrates a secret meeting of anarchists and becomes one of a member of the Central Anarchist Council. He soon learns, however, that he is not the only one in disguise and the nightmare begins. Name the novel. The Napoleon of Notting Hill, The Innocence of Father Brown, The Incredulity, The Man Who Was Thursday. Question number eight. The masterpiece of the first phase of Henry James' career, the novel is a study of Isabel Archer, a young American woman of great promise who travels to Europe and becomes a victim of her own uh, provincialism. It offers a shrewd appraisal of the American character and embodies the national myth of freedom and equality hedged with historical blindness and pride. Name the novel. The Portrait of, an, of a Lady, Washington Square, What Messy Knew, The Ambassadors. Question number ninth, a novel by Joseph Conrad, where he peeped hundred years into the future into a globalizing world. In his novel, it is the money makers, not the lawmakers, who truly make the rules. It is set in the fictitious South American Republic of Costa Guana. It was originally published serially in two volumes of TP's Weekly. Lord Jim, Nostromo, The Secret Agent, The Nigger of the Narcissus. Question number 10. The debut novel of F. Scott Fitzgerald. Taking its title from a line of Rupert Brooke's poem, Tierra Tahiti, the book examines the lives and morality of post-World War I youth. Its protagonist, Amory Blaine, is an attractive Princeton University student who dabbles in literature. The novel explores the theme of love wrapped by greed and status-seeking the novel famously helped F. Scott Fitzgerald gain Zelda's Cyrie's hand in marriage due to its success. Name the novel. This Side of Paradise, The Beautiful and Damned, Tender is the Night, The Last Tycoon. Now let's check the scores and the answers and please concentrate on the discussion. Question number one. The correct answer is a modern utopia. The 20th century opened with great hope, but also with some apprehension, for the new century marked the final approach to a new millennium. For many, humankind was entering upon an unprecedented era. Edgy Wells' Utopian Studies 
a modern utopia, captured and qualified this optimistic mood and gave expression to a common conviction that science and technology would transform the world in the century ahead. To achieve such transformation, outmoded institutions and ideals had to be replaced by one more suited to the growth and liberation of the human spirit. Question number two. The correct answer is Major Barbara. Major Barbara is a social satire in three acts written by G.B. Shaw. Barbara Undershaft, a major in the Salvation Army, is estranged from her wealthy father, Andrew Undershaft, a munitions manufacturer. Although the Salvation Army condemns war, it gladly accepts a donation of £5,000 from her warmonger father and she resigns in protest. The army offers the poor only salvation, under, while Undershaft takes steps towards eradicating poverty. Barbara later comes to accept her father's views on capitalism and to believe that the greatest evil is the degradation caused by grinding poverty. Question number three. The correct answer is Anna of the Fife Town. This is a novel by Arnold Bennett published in 1902. It was the first in the series of novels set in the Potteries, Bennett's native region of northern uh, Stadfordshire. The book details the constrictions of provincial life among the self-made business classes. Anna and her half-sister Agnes grew up unloved by their strict father a wealthy miser and a rigid Methodist. Anna dutifully allows her father to manage her inheritance, a fortune that attracts a marriage proposal from Henry Manners, a religion teacher and business acumen. The engaged couple plan to live in the former house of Titus Price. Anna is tragically unable to act on her long-suppressed love for Price's timid son, Willie, who kills himself in despair. Question number four. The correct answer is the silver box. Gasworthy was a successful dramatist. His plays written were written in a naturalistic style, usually examining some controversial ethical or social problem. The silver box was published in 1906, which, like many of his other works, has a legal theme and depicts a bitter contrast of the law's treatment of the rich and the poor. Question number fifth. The correct answer is The Longest Journey, which was published in 1907 by E.M. Foster. There was a belief associated with Foster's interest in Mediterranean paganism that if men and women were to achieve a satisfactory life, they needed to keep contact with the earth and to cultivate their imaginations. In an early novel, The Longest Journey, he suggested that cultivation of either in isolation is not enough. Reliance on the earth alone leading to a genial uh, brutishness and exaggerated development of imagination undermining the individual sense of reality. Question number six. The correct answer is Ricky Tiki Tavi. According to a psychiatrist friend, Kipling was always pretending to be something other than he actually was, which was a 10-year-old boy. His work, the best of it, has the boy's barbarism and boy's Conservatism. Tiki Tiki Tavi succeeds so spectacularly because it is, in a sense, written by that 10 year old boy, by little Teddy. Question number seven. The correct answer is The Man Who Was Thursday. The full title is The Man Who Was Thursday, A Nightmare, which was published in 1908 by G.K. Chesterton. It is a novel that deals in an allegorical fashion with a group of conspirators promoting nihilistic anarchism to explore many questions of free will, 
the existence of evil and various forms of manipulation and intrigue. It has been referred to as a metaphysical thriller. Question number eight. The correct answer is The Portrait of a Lady, which was published in 1881. Henry James' reputation was founded on his versatile studies of the American girl. In a series of witty tales, he pictured the self-made young woman, the bold and brash American innocent, who insist upon American standards in European society. James ended this first phase of his career by producing his masterpiece, The Portrait of a Lady, a study of a young woman from Albany who brings to Europe a narrow uh, provincialism and pretensions, but also her sense of her own sovereignty, her free spirit, her refusal to be treated in the Victorian world. Question number ninth. The correct answer is Nostromo, which was published in 1904 by Joseph Conrad. It is an Italian expatriate who has risen to his position through his bravery and daring exploits. Nostromo's real name is Giovanni Battista Finzanza, meaning trust in archaic Italian. Question number 10. The correct answer is this side of paradise. On September 4, 1919, Fitzgerald gave the manuscript to his friend Shane Leslie to deliver to Maxwell Perkins, an editor of Charles Scribner's Son in New York. The book was nearly rejected by the editors, but Perkins insisted, and on September 16, it was officially accepted. Let me know your scores in the comment box below. The sheer hard work put in to make these sample paper videos is a testimony of high class dedicated coaching in an institute. That is miracle. So join at your earliest because dreams are realized and goals are conquered once in a lifetime. And consider this as a God sent opportunity. Thank you so much.